Ever since I can remember, we always had nosebleeds in our family. My mother suffered nosebleeds almost every day of her life. My uncles and my aunts also had nosebleeds, and so we thought that that was just something that occurred in our family. This disease, hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia, is a hereditary blood vessel disease affecting several organs in the body that most often is the visible symptom or nosebleeds, but they're nosebleeds in the family. The average time to diagnosis from your first nosebleed is 27 years. So we lost my sister in 1959, and then in 1964 was when we first got the diagnosis and my brother had his surgery. Then in 1965, my cousin went through his surgery. And then in 1969, I'm just 12 years old. I come home and my mother has a stroke. She can't speak, she's in the hospital. And then in 1980, out of the blue, my brother had called. And he sounded like he had a terrible cold. And he told me he had bad news. And as soon as he said it, I knew that she had died very suddenly. And it's hard, even all these years later. <laughs> we went through this, and it was attributed to a heart attack, which she didn't have heart disease. But obviously, her heart was enlarged. That was heart failure, which is a part of this disease that we know now. I was diagnosed in 1994 and was referred to an HHT Center of Excellence where for the very first time this disease was thoroughly explained. I went through all the screening processes um, and then had embolization procedures. We really don't know what normal is until you're treated and suddenly then you're treated and you have much more energy and um, you have a higher quality of life. When I was treated with the MVP, the first thing that comes to mind is uh, a rush of oxygen to my brain, which provided mental clarity. And I am able to do activities without having to stop or catch my breath. I don't have limitations in my daily activities. Also, it's a big relief not having to worry about having a stroke. Again, this disease is something that these things occur out of the blue and these events just continue to happen and happen and families like ours go through just thinking that nosebleeds are a normal situation when internally there's a lot going on that is what we call invisible until there is an event. We work together as a real team of patients and families in increasing awareness and uh, providing education to families and physicians around the world. And I always say that I didn't choose HHG, it chose me. If I'm able to make a difference and gather the expertise and help advance our knowledge on this disease, that's a life well lived.